Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a very simple web application using Node.js and the Express.js uh, web framework. So I come from a PHP Zen framework background and lately I've been trying to get away from Zen framework because it's proven to be very heavy and uh, has been crashing a lot on my server for for whatever reason. I think probably because it's been taking up a lot of a lot of memory. Uh, so I've been playing around with Express.js, and so far I, I've I actually like it. It uses a different markup. It, it's very clean. Uh, it, it's everything I would kind of expect in a in a framework so far. So let's go ahead and start by creating a, a new project. Uh, but before that, let's go ahead and install Express. So I assume that you already have NPM, which is the Node Package Manager, installed on your computer. So with that already installed, let's go ahead and uh, install Express. So with Express installed, what, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to install the Express Generator, which is the same thing but it's a generator at the end. And what this does is it allows us to create projects. Um, it'll create a, an actual project structure with, with just one command. So it saves you a lot of time from having to type a lot in. So let's go ahead and clear that. We're going to go ahead and create a new project. So type in Express and then the project name. In this case, it's going to be uh, test project. And as you can see, I went ahead and it created one on the desktop for me. So we're not we're not completely done yet. Uh, what we need to do is we need to install all of the dependencies that Express relies on. So go ahead and navigate into your project directory. Um, and then we're going to do npm install. And that's going to install all of the Express.js dependencies. So with that said and done, we can go ahead and try to run our newly created uh, project. So let's go ahead and run the following npm start and it's going to be broadcasting on port 3000 by default and as you can see it's a very very simple project so let's go ahead and, and dive deep deeper into what everything means here so let's go ahead and stop that uh, using using your favorite text editor let's go ahead and open up the project Alright, so a few things that you got to take note of. The route is how we're going to navigate around uh, our web application. If you're, if you're familiar with Zen Framework uh, or, or many of the other frameworks out there, uh, you're probably already familiar with how routes work. As soon as a certain uh, route gets hit, it redirects you to the proper view. Uh, in this case, we have our views here. Uh, we actually have two that we're going to look at. We have the layout, which is going to be the base of uh, our project. It's going to contain all of our uh, includes and a lot of our template kind of design. And then the index page, which uh, is just content for the index page. You might want to take note that Express.js uses uh, the Jade markup. It's Kind of, I kind of think of it as a hybrid between Python and HTML in the sense that instead of um, HTML tags, you're using indents, and every time you indent, uh, that's the content of your um, tag. So for example, with the head tag, see there's an indent here, so everything inside of the indent will be inside of the head of the source code. So let's go ahead and make some modifications. So let's first start by demonstrating that uh, this is what's in the layout. And we actually want to uh, paragraph it. First of all, I don't like that it uses uh, just two, two spaces to start with. So I'm going to clean it up here.
All right, so let's go back and let's run it again. And go back. And you can see that it failed for whatever reason. So let's go into our console and see what we can see. So somewhere along the line I made a mess up. I probably put a period in there that shouldn't have been there. So let's go ahead and stop it. And we're going to start it again. It looks better now. So because we added that to the layout page, it's going to appear on every one of our pages. So let's test that theory. We're going to go ahead and create a brand new page. Let's call it, uh, let's go ahead and create it and call it uh, contact. We're going to call it contact.jade. And let's go ahead and copy some of the stuff from our index. Make it easy on us. We're going to say this is uh, our contact page. So we can't, we can't just call it a day at that. We have to create a route for it. So let's go ahead and open up. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new file called contact.js. This is going to represent our route. So again, to save us time, let's go ahead and copy it. A, a lot of well, pretty much everything from the index.js route file and add it to contact. Instead of index, we're going to have it load uh, contact. We don't have anything that we want to pass, although we could. You know, let's, let's say, uh, let's leave it as title. And we're going to call this contact page and then save that let's go back into our uh, where is it no we want to go to contact dot sorry I'm going to do h1 equals and then we're going to say title All right, we're still not done. We have the route, and we have the um, the index. Let's go ahead and go into our app.js to finish things off. So again, I like to copy paste things. Let's go ahead and call this contact. We're going to add it in one more place. We're going to say contact. And let's go ahead and start our server over again. So if we refresh and let's go to contact, you can see that it now loads the contact page that we created. So going back into our source code, we can see that this route, it can really be anything that we want it to be. Uh, so that way, whenever the user hits this page, it's going to load the contact route, which is in turn going to load the contact view. And the contact view, like everything, is going to be rendered inside of the layout.jid. And the content of the view is going to be inside of block content. So you can model around, you can make your whole layout template however you want inside of the layout.jid file. And then wherever you throw the block content is where your actual content files are going to show up. So. I found that this, this uh, Express.js is pretty quick. I found that it's pretty fast. Uh, I will be playing around with other uh, frameworks, but for now it is definitely winning me over in comparison to what I've seen with PHP. If you like this video and are interested in seeing what else I have to offer, please subscribe to my channel as well as my written web blog. Thank you.